goes to person, my action of person comma string should go to my action of employee comma string, right? So we've reversed the direction of the conversion, right? On the one hand we're saying employee goes to person, and on the other hand we're saying something of person goes to something of employee. Okay, so conversions like that are called contravariant conversions, and we tag them with the in. Right? So the, the basic way to remember this is covariant is always about stuff going out, contravariant is almost always about stuff coming in. There are some exceptions to that rule, but those are complicated, weird situations that we're not going to talk about today. Um, and the compiler just takes care of making sure that when you say in or out on a particular uh, type parameter that uh, you are in fact doing it correctly. It goes through every possible usage of the type parameter in that delegate or interface and makes sure that you're doing it the right way. And you'll notice that now that we've added the, the ins to um, the declaration we've lost this little red squiggly here and everything works just fine. Okay. This works with write-only interfaces as well. Right? Uh, you don't normally think of interfaces as being write-only things, but there are some of them. Right? So for example, uh, iComparable of T right? uh, takes two things and tells you which one is bigger. And you can see that in the uh, the IntelliSense here, it's it actually calls out that, oh yes, this is an in T, right? So if we have uh, an employee, you know, a thing that can compare two employees equals whatever, we would put a comparer here, right? Uh, and then if you have, uh, say, well, okay, I have something that can compare two employees, and I would like something that can compare two managers. That should be legal, right? Something that can compare two employees can also com compare two managers because managers are employees. And again, you'll notice that we've reversed the direction of the um, of the convertibility, right? Manager goes to employee, therefore I comparable of employee goes to I comparable of manager. So again, this is a contravariant conversion, and that's called out by the fact that in the declaration it says in. Right. Um, we have defined in the framework uh, a bunch of covariant and, and contravariant uh, interfaces and delegates. Uh, you've already seen I enumerable. Um, you know, we call that out that I enumerable is out in IntelliSense. Um, it is perfectly legal for uh, an interface or a delegate type to be both covariant and contravariant in different type parameters. Um, it's not possible to be um, universally variant. You can't have something that varies in both directions on, on a given type parameter um, because such a thing would essentially be object. You could pass anything to it, right? Um, but for example, you'll notice uh, in the built-in func type, um, the one that takes in a t and returns a t result, uh, the in t is the, the argument that goes in and the out t result is the one that comes out. So this could be both covariant and contravariant. So who do we imagine will use this feature? We imagine that the business of declaring types that are covariant or contravariant is kind of a framework designer architect kind of thing to do. We don't expect that most people who are writing line of business programs will be declaring their interfaces or their delegates as, as covariant or contravariant. We're just going to go through the framework. We've already done a few of them and find places where it makes sense to make these annotations. And we expect that you know, people who have written their own frameworks uh, for you know, business applications or whatever will do the same thing. Um, but as for people who will use this feature, we expect that everybody will use this thing. We expect that everybody already has methods that take uh, an I enumerable of something and they're passing in an I enumerable of something else and they're wondering, well, why, why doesn't this work? And then they have to jump through some kind of hoops to get there. Now you don't have to, right? So like I said before, the point of this feature is stuff just works the way you think it should.